Arch-based Linux operating systems are often very flexible, simple and highly customizable, but they are also very hard to learn. BlackArch is also one of the Arch-based Linux distributions which is mainly designed for ethical hacking and cybersecurity. But there are a few reasons why you shouldn't opt for BlackArch Linux in your ethical hacking and cybersecurity career. Before jumping into that, let's introduce BlackArch Linux. Black Arch Linux is a specialized Linux distribution mainly designed for ethical hackers and security researchers. As mentioned earlier, it is an Arch Linux-based distribution that contains over 2,000 tools for various cybersecurity tasks, including penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, forensic analysis, and exploitation. But there's a little twist inside this which you will get to know later in this video. Anyways, the project of BlackArch Linux was started in 2013 by a security researcher named BlackArch, who at the time was a member of the Arch Linux community. The intention of BlackArch was to make a flexible Linux distribution that was easy to use and could be used for ethical hacking and security research. BlackArch is often considered an Arch-based alternative to more mainstream penetration testing distributions like Kali Linux and Backbox. Well, this was a brief introduction to BlackArch Linux now let's see why you shouldn't use Black Arch Linux. Well, Black Arch Linux is an excellent distribution for cybersecurity, but like everything, it also has some drawbacks. Firstly, Black Arch is built on Arch Linux, which is known for its minimalist philosophy. Arch Linux is not beginner-friendly and is not very easy to learn. It requires advanced knowledge of Linux systems, terminal commands, and general security concepts. If you are already a Linux user, you might have installed Kali Linux, which is very easy to install and does not require a lot of time or effort. But on the other hand, Black Arch Linux is very hard to install, and configuring the system from scratch, installing the necessary drivers, or troubleshooting hardware can be daunting. Black Arch includes over 2,000 security tools designed for testing, penetration testing, and hacking. And that's the thing I was talking about. It has a large number of tools, but they are not properly maintained. Of course, it's very difficult to maintain more than 2,000 tools. While these tools are powerful for security, they can also be misused and used to cause trouble. If you are not experienced, accidentally running tools designed for exploiting vulnerabilities or performing network attacks can potentially damage systems, or lead to illegal activity. Arch-based distributions, including Black Arch, can sometimes have issues with hardware compatibility, especially with proprietary drivers. If you're just looking for a clean and efficient desktop environment or a simple Linux setup, then having around 2,000 tools can be overwhelming. Black Arch is specifically designed for penetration testers, security researchers, and other cybersecurity professionals. It is not designed for everyday use or casual users. If you're just looking for a general-purpose Linux distribution or a system to browse the web, BlackArch's vast array of security tools will be unnecessary and potentially overwhelming. BlackArch Linux is an exceptional tool for penetration testers, ethical hackers, and cybersecurity professionals who need access to a comprehensive set of tools. However, for novices, casual users, or anyone who is not focused on penetration testing or security research, Black Arch may not be the best choice. It's complex, resource-intensive, and not optimized for general use. If your primary interest is in general-purpose Linux use, or if you're new to Linux, a more beginner-friendly distribution like Ubuntu, Fedora, or even Kelly Linux would be more suitable. Black Arch is overkill for regular desktop use, and should only be installed if you're familiar with Linux and cybersecurity tools, and if you need a system designed specifically for security testing and research. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you about Arch Linux today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a detailed video on Arch Linux installation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.